What's up, crazy folks? Well, we're heading into Walmart. I'm gonna pick up some things. I wanna show you guys a trick today. I didn't invent this. I don't even know where I learned it, but I just wanna show you something that's really, really beneficial if you're bridge fishing. So let's get in here and get what we need. As, as I came by the toy section, the first thing I grabbed is this hula hoop. Uh, unfortunately, they only have these iridescent colors, so <laughs> we're gonna have to use what they got. So anyway, down here, just got some braided rope right here. I like the smaller diameter rope. It fits around the cleats on the boat a little bit better or, you know, whatever you need to wrap it on. It's gonna wrap around a few more times to be in a smaller diameter, that's all you need. And then the last thing we need is some carabiners. I'm gonna run around and see if I can find some of those. Right there, Ozark Trail carabiners. They got a pair of them for three bucks, about 287. That's all we need right there, guys. Got the carabiners right there. So I got home and I cut this hula hoop open and I uh, figured out that this Harlequin nasty looking color is just a sticker and I can peel it off. So I'm gonna get on that real quick and let's get back to it. Unravel a little bit of this rope. See if we can get this to feed. Let's see if we can get it to feed. May not be able to, may have to figure out something else, but we'll see what we can do. Got it right out the bottom. This is what we want right here. Rope out one end, end of the rope out the other. All right. Now I'm gonna take this this leader end here. A Palomar knot might work here. I think that'd be something I'd like. Just want a good knot. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely, Pal Palomar knot. That's gonna do it right there. So what I typically do with this, and I'll show you what I do here. So hey, this is my everyday carry pocket knife, by the way. It's a Kershaw Ken Onion Edition. Highly recommend that knife. 50 bucks. Sharp as a razor blade. And I ain't even kidding. You'll cut yourself good with that one. All right. So here's what I do. I take this little leader or this little tag end and I pull it down tight and I use electrical tape and I run electrical tape around it. I've been doing this for years. I do it on my anchor trolleys. I do it on my leash lines for the kayak and this electrical tape does not come off. You'd think it might, but it does not. Keeps the rope from getting frayed. Sometimes I'll take a lighter and I'll burn the ends of the rope. But yeah, you get this electrical tape on here and. It isn't going anywhere. Boom, right there. Palomar knot on a carabiner. You wanna give yourself some line on the other end so you have plenty of slack. In case you wanna draw back and use like a 10 or 12 foot rod or whatever. All right, sorry guys, I'm a little clumsy today. Kinda, of don't, don't feel great. All right, same thing with this carabiner. Another Palomar knot. Drop that carabiner through, cinch it down. <clears throat> and uh, tape it up. I'm gonna tape this one up a little shorter because this Palomar knot is stout. Super stout. It's a good knot. I use it on my, a lot of my catfish rigs, all kinds of stuff. If I don't snail, I use a Palomar knot. I use it for sure on my swivels. All right, guys. There it is. Boom. So I got leader line of about, my lead line is about, I'm gonna say eight feet. So what you wanna do is you wanna pull your carabiner up. You wanna pull your short end up tight. Like that. You want to reach out there with this hula hoop and you want to slide it around the bridge column. You may have to sling it a little bit and you'll catch the other side. And then as it's around the column like that, you're just going to reach over with this carabiner and clip your line on the other side. And then this is going to sit on the bridge column. This rope's going to tie to your boat or kayak. And as you drift away, it cinches up and then it's tight. Now you're stuck on the bridge. You ain't going nowhere. 
and you can let this out however far you need it to accommodate the rod you choose to use. So let's take this out, put it to practical use, and I'll show you how it works in the real world. Well, I decided to drop into El Dorado Bridge, Lake Louisville, right here. About 20 minutes from the house, so it's easy for me. It's usually really busy, but not today. It's rainstorming, so we got some of those rain bands come up from that hurricane or tropical storm that hit the Gulf Coast a couple days ago, so nobody out here. <laughs> than it sounds with the wind blowing. <clears throat> Let's just stay at one. What we want to do is we want to sling this around. Oh, I missed it. All right, let's try again. Got to try not to crease your... Got it. All right. Sometimes that's a little harder than it looks. All right, guys, we got ourselves tied off. I want to use a 10 foot rod, so I'm going to give myself a little bit of leader. Then I got a cleat mounted on the front of my boat here, and I'm just going to cleat off here and be done. And then we'll just get a 10 footer and uh, go after them. Get a 10 footer and go after them. I don't think they'll hit this chartreuse and, and pink, but there's some look like big ones down there. So let's see where we come down. Kind of go from there. Oh, and I got one. Got one, Phyllis. Oh, yeah. Keeper. Probably about 11, 11 and a half. Not complaining about that fish. about that for my first fish. Whoo! There we go. Yeah. I think there's a few here. I think there's a few here, guys. So let's just sling this around and get it. One, one try on that one. One try on that one. And then, turn off the trolling motor. And then, fish! Yes sir, got him. That's a pig right there. Oh, and he came off. That's all right. We ain't keeping today, so if I lose one here and there, that's fine. Ah, got him. Got that. Oh, he's a big one. Golly, he's a big one. As a big one, dudes, ladies and gentlemen, got us a hog. Plucked us a hog. That's what we got to do on them bridges. You set yourself up, catch you some pigs. There he goes. Some dogs. We might got a couple more dogs. Let's see if we can get another dog. That one right there just kind of sucked it in and sat there with it. See if we can get him to activate. Got him. Yes, sir, we did. That one's a big one, too. Oh, that one's bigger than the last one. This one. Guys, I don't even know what to say about this one. This one is a D A W G dog. That one right there is. I ain't got no way to measure him. Got no way to measure that fish, but he's. I'd say. Maybe 15, maybe, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit smaller, maybe a little bit bigger. 15 at least. Big old purdy fish, guys. 
right here on the bridge. Oh, got me a hammer. That's a big one. Oh, that's a real big one. I hope that's a crappie. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. That's got to be like a hybrid or something. Ain't no crappie pulling like that. Yeah. That's a, that's something else. That's a large mouth. Big one. Yeah. There you go. Nice. I thought it was bigger than pulling your boat. Do what? I thought it was bigger. It looked like it was pulling your boat. It was pulling my boat, but uh this boat's really small. It looks bigger than it is. started raining I tell you what as soon as that rain blew in hard the fish just shut down I could see them they'd come up look at the baits and they just wouldn't bite it no more so we're gonna just have to stop it there call it good after I don't know it's been about an hour and a half pretty good my little bridge contraption works pretty nice and uh, we caught some dogs so and I caught me a ditch pickle so that'd be good I don't even know where that term ditch pickle came from. JB and Ryan always talking about ditch pickles. But anyway, all right, guys, there it is. Give it a try. See, catch you guys on the next one.